Hey everybody, it's Kenneth again. Welcome back to the Shoegather channel where we talk about effect pedals, exciting music gear, home production and more, all around the beautiful noise and otherworldly soundscapes. In this video I want to demonstrate some ways of how I create the guitar, piano and drum sounds of the band Cocteau Twins. Just in case you never heard of the band, Cocteau Twins were a dream pop band from Scotland, active from the early 80s to the late 90s. The sound was defined by the ethereal guitars and electronic drum machine beats of Robin Guthrie, the mystic bass lines of Will Heggie, later replaced by Simon Raymond, and the outstanding soprano vocals of Elizabeth Fraser. In my shoegaze bass videos I already talked about their bass lines and bass sounds. If you're interested in that you can find the link in the video description below or in the card above my head. But today I want to talk a little more about guitars and drum machine sounds and how easy it actually is to recreate those sounds on your own. Before I begin, I want to make clear that I won't use any gear that Cocteau Twins were using originally. They just made music with the gear that was available during their time. We have many more options now to choose from and we can also simplify many things. So before you buy tons of new equipment, I really recommend trying all these tips with the equipment and software that you already own. I want to start with the rhythm section as the electronic and yet warm drum beats made the Cocteau Twins sound so special. Cocteau Twins had no drummer, so Robin Guthrie made use of several drum machines that were available during the 80s and 90s. The good thing is that they don't make such a big secret of how they realized the sound of their music. So I highly recommend you to check out their website cocktotwins.com. It's a very interesting site where you can find detailed information about the gear they used. On their first album Garlands they used a Roland TR808 drum machine which is very rare and hard to find nowadays. Luckily Roland released a software version of this epic drum machine. But you don't necessarily need it for that sound. To recreate the Garland's drum sound I basically used my ears and some samples from other drum machines like the Boss DR55, Alesis HR16 and Korg Electribe ER1. Then I played the blind dumb death beat on my Yamaha Sonogetic guitar which is also a MIDI controller. I also put some reverb on every drum element and just waited to see what will happen. On the album Treasure from 1983, Robin Guthrie used a EMU drumulator with the rock chip set that contained samples of the John Bonham drum sound according to their website. So I used exactly these drumulator rock drum samples that I found online, loaded them into Ableton Live and put reverb on every single drum element. In this example I played the drum beat of Persephone and Lorelei. So, now we have very authentic sounding 80s drum beats that were perfectly for our Cocteau Twins homage. By the way, 
In case you want to download these beats as WAV or MIDI files or you want to have just the separate samples, you can do that on my Patreon page. Members of the band tier will have access to the Ableton projects as well as the audio and MIDI files of all the projects that I created for my videos. There you can also download effect presets for the Zoom Multistorm that I will show you in a second. But even if you're choosing another tier, every single member of the Shoegazer squad helps me to create more regular content and also to increase the quality of my videos. So feel free to check out the Patreon link in my description below. On the album Treasure we can also hear remarkable synth chords and even steel drum elements like on the song Beatrix. I have no idea what synthesizer they used for the song Lorelei but after listening closely I found that it sounds a bit like a honky-tonk piano mixed with some synth bell sounds. What is a honky-tonk? The honky-tonk term is also known as a country subgenre that started in the 1870s, when country music was supported by rhythmic chords, usually played on pianos that were poorly maintained. That's why these pianos sounded so out of tune. Well, that created the honky-tonk piano sound and it's still a thing 100 years later and now we can hear it on Dream Pop Records. Anyways, I played some honky tonkish sounding chords on my addictive key software. The exact same chords I copied to another MIDI track using a synth bell sound from Ableton Live's operator. On both instruments I added around 50% chorus and reverb until it sounded like the chords in the Cocteau Twins song Lorelei. Here it is in combination with the beat. Now it's finally time for the guitars. In Cocteau Twin songs, the rhythm guitar effects are often a combination of out of tune sounding chorus into some tape delay and reverb. On their albums from the 90s you can also hear modulation effects like flanger and phaser for example. On the album Treasure we can also hear some distortion on the lead guitars that often create a simple melody layer repeatedly in the several song sections. For the distortion sound I will use the ProCat RED emulation on my Digitech DF7 distortion factory. Of course you can use any other distortion pedal that you like and also distortion sounds that come on a multi storm pedal. To keep it very simple, I will use my beloved MS70 CDR by Zoom, as it has tons of modulation effects like chorus, pitch shifting, phaser, flanger, and also reverb and delay. First, I put in some chorus, 70% def, 20% rate, 70% mix. After that, I chose some digital delay and synced it with the BPM of the song. And in the end of the chain, I used a chamber reverb with 70% delay time and 50% mix. On the album recordings, Robin Guthrie's guitars have a very nice stereo panning. So although he seemed to be playing in one single combo amp live, I will use two combo amps with different microphones heavily panned to the left and right. As I'm currently producing at home during the pandemic, I started to get deeper into software amps and found the Matchlock by Quasa very solid. So I'll use the stereo output of my Zoom MS70 CDR and send each of these signals into one separate guitar amp track using my Focusrite 4i4 audio interface. It's like using two amps just virtually and I'm always amazed how good that sounds. <laughs> and together with the drum beat and the
Before I continue showing you more ways to create Cocteau Twins guitar sounds, I want to talk about today's sponsor of the video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including writing, learning guitar, music production, photography, animation and more. You can explore new skills, deepen existing passions and get lost in your creativity, no matter if you're a beginner or a professional. There's something interesting for everyone. For example, there's a brilliant course by King Arthur DJ that I already started called Audio Mixing on the Go Professional Sound Without the Studio. Although he's producing electronic music, his course helped me a lot to get rid of some myths that hold me back from finishing songs. Just because I thought I wouldn't have the right studio equipment, I learned some valuable lessons in the first minutes of his course already. Another course I checked out is Mixing at Home with Stock Plugins by Graham Cochrane. Graham already saved me money that I actually wanted to spend on expensive VST plugins or hardware studio gear, just by reminding me how important it is to trust my own ears and my own creativity than in just another toy that will magically transform my recordings into masterpieces. In this course he talks about mixing a whole band with stock effects and also how to master a song quickly. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, which means that it's completely ad-free and they're always launching new premium classes. And with an annual subscription, it's not even $10 a month. So in case you're interested in trying out Skillshare, the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description below will receive a free trial of the Skillshare premium membership. The guitar sound we just created for the Cocteau Twins song Lorelei can also be used for their song Persephone. For that sound, I simply got rid of the delay in my Zoom MS70 CDR. But let's be honest, Robin Guthrie's guitar sounds are created differently in almost every song. On the Cocteau Twins homepage, he explains the effect chain of their song Blind Dumb Death. He explicitly mentions using a Big Muff Pie into a tape delay, into a Electra Harmonics clone chorus, into another tape delay, and then went with this effect pedal combination into a combo amp. Luckily, the MS70 CDR has all these effects emulated, except of the Big Muff Pie. Unless you watched my video about the secret zoom update, the link is in the description below. I created that effect chain with my Distortion Factory by Digitech using the Big Muff Pi emulation. And this is how it sounds. I also created a preset for one of their more famous songs, Cherry Colored Funk. For this one I will choose my rhythm pickup on the Fender Player Jaguar to get a warmer sound. In the first position of the effects chain will be a compressor, then a chorus, followed by a flanger, and at the last position of the chain I put a BPM synced delay, followed by a chamber reverb. The following chords are the one that I'm hearing. I will put them in the description below, but I won't guarantee that they are correct.
My M simulation software by Kuasa has also a really cool Cock to Twins acoustic preset, which is best used with a semi acoustic guitar like this one by James Nilligan, an EW3000. As you can see, here they used also a chorus pedal into a stereo amp setup with some extra stereo panning into tape delay and reverb. Let's check it out. So that's been all for today. Thanks for watching and if you're interested in the beats, the drum samples or the zoom effect presets, check out the link to my Patreon page in the description below. Below the link you will also find some of the chords that I played here in this video. It's been a lot of fun but also a lot of work to do that kind of content that I'm preparing here for you guys. So please give this video a like if it was useful for you and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. I'm looking forward to answer all your comments the best way I can. Yeah, feel free to ask everything that's on your mind. I hope you guys are healthy. I hope you guys are safe. I hope I see you next time. See you later.